Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 18 of Let's Platinum the Evil Within. Alright, let's go through these doors. A little bit more cutscene. Where do you suppose we are? More like when? Why did he take this out the lantern? Seems straight out of the Middle Ages. Yeah, but there's electricity. Elevators. This place can't be real. It's like jumbled up memories. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea why. <laughs> why Sebastian took out the lantern. <laughs> Taking it out means he actually moves it. Turning it off, but puts it straight back. It's like he threw him. <laughs> Is this what it was like, Seb? After the accident? Well, I never put a gun to my head. No, of course not. Just quietly sank into a bottle. We can't all be perfect. It never affected my work. But hey, you read the IA report. You know I didn't report you because I was worried about your work, Sebastian. <laughs> what else is there? We don't have time for this. I need my partner here. I'm counting on you. Why does he look, like, perfectly fine now? <laughs> All right, let's explore. Well, let's like pilfer. Um, unless he says something else. All right, map fragment twelve. Maybe it's all symbols. Some kind of cult could be useful. I think I'm okay. We should probably get going. Sound like he was whispering to himself for one second. Yeah, hang on. Cool. And I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a pencil in his hand. <laughs> hey Joseph, am I standing too close? <laughs> no. Joseph, are you... Oh, I can go through him? What the hell? I thought I couldn't. Joseph, have you heard about personal space? Psst. Hey, Joseph. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Um, oh, yay. Okay, so I was right about the matches, because there's like four there, so that's fine. Uh, I got another save room. I don't want to miss any items. I should really be double-checking my items list. Uh, there's... Joseph, do not come into my safe space. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Alright, uh, let me quickly make some... Yes, okay, I got everything right. But I think I labelled something wrong, hang on a second. Oh no, I got it right. Didn't I clear this? Oh yeah, okay, no I didn't clear that one out, and then 12. Okay, cool. No, I haven't missed anything, just double checking. Alright, uh, that one. Some more gel. Okay, that's fine. More bullets. And we're full. Alright, so there are two more collectibles now. Yeah, chapter 6 is really long, so there's a lot of collectibles. Another newspaper. Church investigation. Hey, the headline is different to the... Uh, I don't know what it's called. Subline? Subheadline? I don't know. 
Uh, church, church investigation. Pastor in, under investigation. Parish may have broken church bylaws. Um, Pastor Salvador Graciano denies allegations of financial impropriety. Uh, no, impro impropriety. Uh, church officials investigating lack of records on cash donations and spending by the parish. Hmm, okay. And then it's this guy. Pastor Graciano. Missing. Pastor Salvador Graciano. Pastor Graciano in, and several parishioners at Cedar Hill Church are missing. The church has been locked up tight since they disappeared. Okay, so he was doing something shifty, or allegedly doing something shifty, and then he went missing. Fair enough. Um, oh yeah, before where like um, Sebastian and uh, Joseph were talking about some reporting incident. So essentially you can glean that Sebastian, like something happened to Sebastian or something happened that was sort of in some way probably affecting his work. And Joseph had no choice but to report it. But Sebastian's a cool dude, so he realized that he was probably right to report him. And uh, they're still partners. Hold on a minute. Let me climb up here and see if I can get a look ahead. Okay, this part's not too bad. Let's just you see if right? I can do it. Yeah. It's Kidman and Leslie. Hey, that's Kidman. And Leslie. She's with. It's Leslie. What do you mean, who's that she's with? You've seen Leslie, haven't you? Um. No, maybe he hasn't, actually. I take that. I'm sorry, Joseph. I apologize. What I found seems to be in working condition. I already got one. Go on ahead, I'll cover you. Okay, good idea. <laughs> Alright, um. Yeah, for some reason that breaks down. So what you want to do here is just just sprint. So that guy's gonna shoot, but if you just kind of like get here, he should miss. And that guy shows you how to open a door. And then if you just keep walking carefully, Joseph should take care of everything. I don't know why that works, but it works. And made it. Yep. Okay, now this part is a little tricky. I think we can work it out. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, I do want to create one shock bolt, and annoyingly, I want to create a few explosive bolts. Okay, we should be good. Let's see if this works. So, this is kind of a boss fight. It's not too challenging. So hopefully this goes well. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to place the shock bolt right there. And then this guy should walk close to me. Shoot this. That should burn him. Oh, I shouldn't have reloaded. I'm going to try something. Pretty sure that is faster. Alright, that's fine. I didn't do too much damage. That is not what I meant to do. Jesus Christ, man. This is not going as well as I wanted it to go. Stop hitting me! Ah. How are you not dead yet? Finally. What? Oh, what? The other one came out already? Yeah, I mean, I knew that, obviously I knew that there was another one, but <laughs> I didn't realize it would come out that fast. I'm gonna try and do this. So do this. Get his attention. Shoot that one.
I'm just gonna stay in here for a bit. <laughs> I wonder if this would work. If like Joseph could do the, the damage to him. Yeah, I could do the damage to him. Oh, I can't shoot down here. Yes! Oh, what? How did I miss? <laughs> Burn him. Did that count? Okay, I'm gonna run away for a second. Hang on. Okay, let him be frozen. We're gonna go this way. And we're gonna try and pick up all the ammo that I didn't pick up before. Nice, got full shells again. Okay, now all I have to do is freeze him one more time. Shoot like crazy. Oh my god, I always press square. Don't bother reloading, just fire. Should be more than enough, but for whatever reason it's not. Get him. There we go. Now's your chance. You can finish him off. Uh. Oh, I should probably shoot him again. Uh oh. Okay, good. <laughs> oh boy. Two on two. I think that one is just a normal trophy that you get. Shit, it's, there's no um. I'll look for another route. There's no the trick to it. This way. Did this guy drop any? Hmm. Why didn't he drop any gel? It's strange. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so that was crazy. Just fought two gigantic... What? They appear to be human-like. But yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I have enough. Alright, yeah, so basically the best tactic is use the, um, use the fire to your advantage. The shotgun, I guess it doesn't do that much damage, so maybe you want to use a sniper rifle, but I would recommend having as many bullets of the sniper rifle. Oh, there's two explosive bolts right there. In your possession as possible. He's speaking to himself again. I don't know if these ones work, but I don't really want to try. <laughs> Uh, okay, before talking to him, pick up this. Graveyard note. Walt, I've gone to get Donna back. I saw how to get into the wolf's den and I'm getting her back. I won't let her be a sacrifice. Don't follow. Just stay and watch the family. I'll bring her back. Daniel. Hmm. Uh, I don't think that has anything to do with anything really. It's just world building, I'm pretty sure. We go down. I guess so. Okay, and I'm in the save room again. <laughs> I forgot that, that happened. Did I get a key? No. And did I get. Oh, I can fill up on bullets again. All of them. Almost all of them. Alright. Oh yeah, I'll explain what I was trying to do with the shotgun before as well. Uh, yes, I'm going to save. Uh, I love that this game tells you how long you've been playing. I hate it when games don't tell you how long you've been playing. It's like, I want to know. Okay. So, let's see. No, I don't have much time left, but... I'll do a little bit more. Well, I'll, I'll go to the next bit and then I'll probably stop in a section. Um, what I was doing with the shotgun was you can kind of like fire the shotgun, change weapons, then change back. And that is quicker than actually like waiting for the next bullet to be ready. It obviously doesn't really, you don't need to do that if you up upgrade the shotgun, but because we're not upgrading it, you kind of, you can do that, but it wasn't working properly. So, I don't know, it might require like a single upgrade or something. Alright, so now we're in yet another random place. 
No, I should probably use the lantern. We're like underground in some kind of secret passageway. That was kind of freaky actually. <laughs> Alright. Um, so we'll stop here. Um, and we should be able to clear the rest of the chapter by next episode. There's only this and the boss left and then we're pretty much done. So I want to thank you all for watching episode 18 of Let's Platinum The Evil Within. My name is Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.